Hello, welcome. Just giving a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Kodi, how to set up your Fire Stick. For the most part, just a walkthrough to have people understand how to use the program. Nothing serious, not showing you anything major. Most people would know, and if, for those who don't, this is just a quick guide to get you through. So first and foremost, when you're hooking up your Fire Stick, if it's already installed with Kodi, what you always want to do is make sure you use your uh, controller to go check your internet settings. So what you do is go to settings, go down to network, press the enter button, which is the middle button. Make sure you're connected to the proper internet channel that belongs to you. So ours is, this is my wife's name. So I'll go into it, make sure it's connected, it's good. So what I like to do is I like to press the uh, play button, which is right there. And to make sure there's a good connection on it, to make sure I'm doing what I'm, I'm able to do what I'm able to do what I want to do on it so that's all connected so I'll hit the uh, back button to exit I'll hit the back button again and I'll hit it for a third and fourth time which would get me back up to the top so I'll slide over back to the uh, home button home area there and the app that we're using today obviously is Cody and uh, um, so you want to make sure that with the controller your enter button is here in the middle so you have up, down, left, right, obviously. You have back, home, and what home does is basically, uh, let's say you're in an app you want to use. I'm going to use this as an example. You're in an app you want to use, whatever you want to get out of it. So you just hit the home button, and what it will do is it will take you back to the home screen. Also, if you hold the home button, it'll bring you to this little uh, sub menu right here which allows you to go straight to your apps put the fire stick to sleep mirror from a phone or take you to your settings whatever you want to do let's back out of that so we're going to use Cody like I said I'm going to launch it Sorry about that. I just want to get that off. All right. So once you launch Cody, it'll bring you literally to this. Well, you know, the program that I'm running right now will literally bring you to this uh, screen right here, this menu, and all that good stuff. So once again, you want to go ahead and. Uh, your best, uh, see when these things pop up, you can always hit remind me later or dismiss. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit dismiss. There's other ones that will pop up on you. Just either ignore them, dismiss them, or whatever. Doesn't matter. So today I'm gonna show you how to use uh, Exodus and Specto. So as you can see, these uh, top categories you know you have systems movies tv shows all in one ip i view guide kids corner sports center xyz all right so you highlight the section you want to use so let's say you want to use movies now you hit down on your fire stick remote and it'll bring you to the little subcategories so you have zen exodus specto salt hd box and channel one so let's go into Exodus. I use both Exodus and Specto for movies. So we're going to show Exodus first. So you would open it up and it'll bring you this uh, menu here. You know, it lets you see genre, whatever you want to see people, language, box office, most voter, most popular, you know, these subcategories. So you choose what you want to do. So let's say I want to see uh, how. Let's check what what's in theaters let's see what's out there that we can watch you see right here the little working sign once you enter it because you're connected to the internet now so once you see this going what it's doing is searching to see what movies are available that are in theaters and it's going to connect us to another page once it's all done so now it brought us to whatever movies are available 
So let's see if any of these new ones are available yet. Let's go ahead and check out Wonder Woman. So what you do is you press that uh once you you know scroll up and down to whatever you want to choose, and then you press that uh, enter button on the controller, and what it's doing it's actually going through the program to pull sources, pull from different areas off the internet to stream these channels. So once it's done, it's gonna give you a list of providers available for streaming. So as you can see, it's pulling, and I apologize for the talking over. I just want to be as clear as possible for those that are doing this for the first time, for those that have no knowledge of it, whatever the case may be, it's kind of, you know, what I wish I had when I first started. You know, a lot of people jump straight into it. You see it's working. A lot of people jump straight into it and not really explain much to anybody, and it, it could be a frustrating experience your first time around. So these are the providers as you can see so you just choose one press the answer button on one and what it's gonna do it's gonna check to see if it's available so once it does that it's gonna start doing working if it's available and here's well this is it here's a uh, Wonder Woman as you can see it's uh you know, 720. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's uh, fast forward through it a little bit. All right. There you go. Mind you, this is in theater, so. There you go. Let's we'll stop that. So, uh, <clears throat> same thing for any other movie, pretty much. And, the, you know, you hit the pause button to stop it, which is the uh, pause play right there. You back up and just check on, check forward, keep going, do what you want to do as far as movies and stuff like that. All right, so let's back out. Now, let's say you want to search for a movie. So you go to the little search icon in the bottom. Sorry, right there. You hit it, and you type in the name of the movie you want to watch. Let's say you want to watch uh, uh, Willy Wonka. I might have spelled that wrong. It is what it is. So it's working and it's searching. So you have Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. You have Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. So let's check out Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. So I uh, pressed the, uh, I highlighted it, pressed the uh, enter button, which is the middle button. And once again, what it's doing is pulling sources to see if it's available. <clears throat> So, if you hear any background noise, I think there's a lawnmower or something going on outside. They're cleaning. I don't know what the hell they're doing. So, uh, you see, it's working now. You know, the closer you are to your router, the faster the product will work so since I'm the furthest so I'm at the furthest point of my apartment it's not going as fast but it still works pretty good so now this is the uh, tricky situation some of these work some of these don't work so let's just go to this one which is a uh, vid to vid to do so we'll press it sometimes these authorization things will come up what you would just do is hit cancel which is the answer button on it. Cancel it again if it comes up. And just let it do what it's doing. And it'll find something. See, it's looking, it's looking. It's still searching for one to look for. Once you see the box drop away from the screen, most likely it found one. If not, you're going to see a little icon in this corner that says unavailable in Exodus doesn't mean it's not available it just means you might want to scroll further that further down for different uh, 
streams. You see how nothing came up when I did it this time around. So let's find a different stream. Hopefully, okay. This stream right here tends to work very well a lot, which is Vidzy or Vidzy.tv. So it didn't work this time. But like I said, I took it down further and I'm seeing what's available. One of these came up, so I'll just cancel it. Just cancel. Yeah, so when you get those pop-up boxes, just cancel it. Sometimes it could be annoying, but at the end of the day, it's uh let's start from the beginning. It's uh working as you can see. It's definitely worth it, especially consider what you're getting to what you're paying. So let's fast forward through it. And there goes, you know, there goes Charlie. As you can see, so we fast forward through it. Let's uh once again. See? And this is available in standard definition, as you can see right there, SD. Which is not bad, like I said, once again. Um, so to fast forward, you can always press up on the remote. To rewind, you can press down on the remote which would like you know skip chapters and then you also have your uh, rewind fast forwards play pause menu so let's say you hit the menu button here it's gonna bring up this right in the bottom so you can do whatever you want to do format or volume whatever which honestly you're not gonna really use so let's pause it go back I'm sorry hit the back button Oh, there you go, and it'll bring you back to this. So that's basically how to use the uh, Exodus program. Now, you you know you keep pressing the back button so you're clearly back at the uh, main screen, which will bring you to movies, TV shows, or whatever. So with Spec though, it will be the same thing, but the skin will be different. The outline, the outlay, the layout will be different. So see how it's you know back there but it's pretty much the exact same thing so you have your box office TV shows blah 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 I mean box, box office movies people search regular search all that good stuff so you know it's gonna be the exact same thing now for TV shows you slide over to the TV show main category just hit the left one or the right button then you see down and be out below you'll see the uh, sub you know, you see the yellow, it's highlighted down. You see the sub, uh, sub uh, menus, which is Zen, Exodus, Specto. Once again, I only use two. So for this one, we'll go ahead and use Specto. So we'll go press OK on Specto. And then right here, it'll give us what are we looking for. What Are, are we looking for anything specific? Uh, so let's say we want to watch. Uh, let's see what, what, what's most popular right now. Or let's go to people watching. Let's see what people are watching. So this menu right here, this category right here is basically what's popular on uh, this program. What shows are they, it pulls all the sources and it just, you know, checks it out. So we have Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, which by the way are both Netflix exclusives. So you can see Netflix shows are available on this. So, you know, we have American Gods, Better Call Sal. Uh, Pretty Little Liars, High Zombies, so the, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, Silicon Valley, Game of Thrones, Prison Breaks, Grey's Anatomy, The Big Bang Theory, The Simpsons, so on and so forth. I'm not going to just go ahead and name everything. So, uh, once you hit the bottom, if you don't see what you want there, you know, there's pages. So you just hit next page, you keep going, you know, you see whatever you want to see, whatever. So let's see how I met your mother. So we enter that. Let's go to season one. As you can see. Let's go to the pilot episode. See, it's working. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Pulling the sources from wherever. And the box is about to come up. So it already loaded the sources. Now, like I said, you see, G-Video will sometimes work. Sometimes it won't. 
So let's see if today is the day where it doesn't want to work. Oh, so today it worked. I pulled it out. Give me one second. Let me just put up the volume. Sir? Let's just fast forward a little bit. Uh, sorry, sometimes it does that. Right, since I fast forwarded, it kind of froze, which is whatever. Oh, there you go. It caught up now. So, I'll pause this. Now, let me give you a good thing here, a good advice. Uh, <clears throat> G-Video, HD, whatever. Sometimes these links don't work. So my always my my personal go to when I'm watching TV shows, I always look for two different sources. Go all the way down as far down as you can. I always go to Vidzy TV right here. If you see it right there where it says watch free and then right next to it, Vidzy TV, I'll go there. Or I'll always go to there's one see gorillavid.in. Those are two sources that work for me flawlessly 100% of the time. Late at night, for some reason, G-Videos will be available during the day. Later on during the night, a lot of more, a lot more people are streaming at the same time, so these tend to crash more. Vidzy TV and Gorilla Vid In seem to be the stable ones at night for us. So those will be the my two suggested streams for you. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and back. We're exiting out now. You know, everything is here. Everything is here. You don't see something you like or you don't find the show you're looking for and you know the name. You know, there's the search button right there. We can hit it and we can do uh, whatever show you want to do. So, for example, I'll give you a perfect example. So you're into your Bob's Burgers. You know, you notice you only see that up there in the most popular. But this is one of the best, most popular shows out there. So let's type it in. It's searching it. It already searched it. Bob's Burgers. There it is. Let's go ahead and enter it. Let's go into the most recent episode, which is uh, Season 7. Searching it. It already searched it. Episode 22. Into the Mild. It's searching this. It's right now. I entered it. So what it's doing? It's searching the uh, the streams, which the box right here will come up to let you know it's loading the providers and sources. So I hope this is an opportunity to pull up one of those G Video ones where it doesn't work. Oh, you see how G Video is not available here. So what I do is I'll look for what I told you. It was Vidzy. Now, if this one doesn't work, Gorilla will. So I entered Vidzy. Let's see. There it goes. A suggestion I also have for you, too, when you're using Vidzy, uh, you want to give it a quick pause. Let it pause for a few seconds. Kind of let the video load stream ahead a little bit. So you won't notice it here because it won't show it, but a lot of the videos, you'll notice a little white bar behind the red bar kind of loading in. So for the most part, this one actually just streams in real time and keeps it moving. So let's just play it through. And as you can see, it's loading. It's, you know, it's playing. No commercials, none of that stuff. So there you go. Sorry, this is... A 70 inch TV, so that's why you see me just like going back and forth, side to side. So that's that. And you saw, oh damn, I had it right there. You noticed the white. So now, let me tell you what this uh, blank spot up here is. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, this blank spot up here with the dots, that's basically another back button without pressing the back button. That's just. If you hit the uh, enter button on that blank space up there, what it does, it just takes you back to the previous menu, back to the previous menu, back to the previous menu. 
this is where you search for it so it'll actually take you back to the main menu of the application we're using which is specto so now let's try uh exodus tv shows exodus it's gonna be the same thing exactly you know they just have more categories here but for the most part it's gonna be the same thing so you can search people you can search you know uh the tv show itself same thing with the movies if you're not familiar with the name of the movie let's go back there let's do that let's go into movies let's go into specto do that one let's say you're not familiar with the movie but you know uh uh tom hanks was in it so you just type in tom hanks when you press as you can see what's highlighted in the bottom is search people in the yellow so just put in tom hanks and then this is the enter button right here the little enter button obviously so you hit it and what it's gonna do it's gonna pull everything tom hanks was in so it's gonna show you a pic well it's supposed to show you a picture of tom hanks but it pulled up tom hanks so let's open it it's searching for everything like i said that tom hanks was in So we have the circle, stand for right, Sully, Inferno, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Keep going, Captain Phillips, uh, whatever he was in is here for the most part. Well, let's see. Yeah, everything that he was in is here. That's not bad, huh? Well, once you look at that. So that's all there. So if you you're a big Tom Hanks fan or Mark Wahlberg or so on and so forth, whoever whoever you like, <clears throat> it's uh there. It's available. All you gotta do is search either by name or search by the name of the movie. Same thing with the TV show. Search either by name of the TV show or search by name of the um actor in the TV show. So, for the most part, that's that's all you'll really be doing with this program. Sorry, I'm just getting back to the main area here. So, this will always be your main area. See? Now, if you, let's say you don't want the show still in the background. If you hit the little up arrow, well, the up on the, uh, the stick itself, it'll bring you to the, you see how it took me to search right there? You just hit the, you know, till you get to the little stop button right here. Press the enter button and it'll stop it. So it'll give you the regular background so you're not confused about what's going on. Um, some of these things don't work because there's, a, you know, things going on where they're trying to update these programs or some things are just being taken down because they're not supported no more. It's not a big deal. Um, I also assist with making sure we update these things as often as possible. So if you have any questions, uh, please comment uh, below, and I'll do the best I can to help answer them. And if I can't give you my, my personal answer, I'll make sure that I come back with an answer that I found somewhere else for you. So once again, this is it. And then let's say you want to get out of the uh, Cody program. You can't hit the back button because the back button is not going to take you anywhere. You hit the uh, little home button, which is the little house picture right there. And what it does is takes you all the way back to the beginning. And there you have it. Now, let's say if the program crashes on you or if it freezes on you. This is always a good one. So it froze on you. You're stuck in the code. You can't get out. You can't watch anything. You press the home button. It'll take you right here. So what you'll do is go all the way to settings. Go down to where it says applications enter applications go all the way down to manage installed applications now go all the way down to the Cody program enter it press for stop what it'll do is just kill the program so it can kind of do a reset now go to clear cache 
let that clean up never hit clear data you hit clear the data what it's going to do it's going to erase everything that's on the Cody so basically you have a fresh Cody so you hit clear cache and then you can open the application from right here or you can hit the uh, home button again and it'll take you right back to the beginning so you can reopen it and now when I open it it's gonna run it as if it's the first time I'm running it and then once that's done it's gonna do my little there you go Damn, this TV is big. And there you have it. It's all there. So I hope this uh, video helped somebody out. And uh, made this uh, easy for someone with the... Uh, understand was well, you know somebody who doesn't understand how this works whatever in general on youtube at home at work family friends new to the whole cody program or the fire stick family welcome by the way i hope this video made it easy for you to understand how to use it and uh just make better use of this program so you're not lost confused or whatnot so thank you for watching and, uh, you know, have a good day.